Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and this new tutorial on PyTorch. In previous video, we learned about sequential container. If you haven't seen, check that out. It is uh, quite important. In this video, we will learn about uh, uh, two containers. One is uh, module list and another one is module dict. Okay. So if you want to access the hidden layers output, you won't be able to do so by using sequential container. Okay. In that case, you need module list. Okay. And module dict is simply like, as the name says, it is a dictionary. And so if you want a selection during the processing, you need to use module dict. Okay. So we will see uh, with an example, like how we can use module list and module dict and how we can use them. Okay. And one correction from the last video is like when we use uh, an endorse sequential container, uh, it is actually a dictionary. And if we don't use the proper keys, which are actually names, it will be simply replacing the same um, layer again and again. Okay. When you say uh, a container dot aid module, it is simply a dictionary it is creating. So here it is just activation. So it will just keep replacing the old module okay so we need to add here um, a distinct uh, number so that all the names would be distinct in that sense all the keys will be distinct okay okay so let us dive in and see like how we can create a, a module dict and then how we can add layers in that okay so doing so we simply need to replace this and endorse sequential with and then dot module list okay and now remaining things are same but as module dict or module list they don't have anything like a forward method okay so in an end dot sequential container we have the forward method implemented but in case of an end dot module list we don't have that so for each and every layer we need to call it okay that's how it is different in that sense okay so now simply we need to iterate on all the layers so we simply need to iterate let's say we can say for layer in self dot deep and then and we can say tensor is equal to layer inputs okay and now input should be tensor okay so so the current out current output would be the input to the next layer okay that's what we are doing also we can keep track of what are the output of uh, each and every layer okay and if we need that we can use that as well in the actual training process so let us say we can say hidden states is a list let us say and we can simply keep appending these tensors to that and that's it okay and now we can return we need to delete this and now we can return hidden state minus one and also we can return all hidden states if we need we can use them and here we can simply say output and we can say states okay we can print the layers as well like what are those layers so here it will print like what are the layers used there okay so this is like how we can use module list and uh, this is how we can access all of them so one of the major confusion here one would have is like it is simply like um, a simple python list but the problem is like if you use here simple python list the parameters won't be registered okay to the like model dot parameters method and eventually you won't be able to train them because when we add them in module list, they are registered properly. And when we run the optimizer on that, they are trained. Okay. So don't confuse it like it is a simple uh, Python list. In a sense, it is. 
So it is implemented in such a way that it is integrated with PyTorch environment. Okay. So let us run and see uh, what we get as output and what are the layers we have. So now you can see here the layers like linear, relu, linear, relu, and so on. And we get the output. Okay. Now we have seen like how we can use module list. Now let us see how we can use module dict and where we can use it. So for example, if you want to use activation functions and have a selection choice, like uh, if you want to use a regular ReLU or we want to a parametric ReLU. So there are many variations, but we will try to choose these two only. Okay. So let us create module dict. So module dict is simply like you can think of when you need a random selection, given the choice use module dict okay so let us call self dot activation is equal to and then dot module dict okay so what it requires is simply a dictionary which has key and value so let us call key first key is let us say regular relu and let us call it and then dot value And let us say parametric relu. Okay. And let us assign it and then dot relu. Okay. There are many that you can use, but we want to just use these two. And let us accept one twice here. And let us keep default as regular relu. Okay. And now instead of using the default, we can simply say self dot act and we can simply pass the choice here. Okay. Now if we pass here the activation choice it will automatically choose that and use in this for loop okay so let us pass here p relu okay now all these activations should be p relu so let us run and see it now you see it is now p relu and if you don't pass anything, it will be by default R relu R regular relu. So let us run and see that as well. You see, it is regular relu. Okay, so I think that should be clear like uh, where to use uh, uh, module dict and where to use module list and uh, what is the importance of over an n dot sequential container okay so in the next video we will talk about uh, parameter list and parameter dict and also see like where they are useful so thanks for watching bye for now take care see you in the next